guys. It's Callie from Keeping Money Jazzy, where I share budgeting tips and tricks, as well as my slow and steady pace to become debt-free from student loans. I'm here today to do my December budget. Um, I've already laid down a lot of things, so let's get to it. So this is what I created for myself for December, and I wanted to do wanted something that was conducive to my paydays only and not have to wouldn't be able to take out you know sheets and and all of that so i decided just to just create a little planner for myself so i chose to quote choose the life you want and for the first page for december we have my monthly goals which i've already written them out and my monthly goal for this month is simple it's just to stick to my budget and I had to remind myself to call my life insurance company because there are some things that I need to do with that. No birthdays this month. Um, I don't think there's anything else for me to do. All right. So next we have my next we have my monthly paydays at a glance. So on this sheet, um, I will just write down my paydays because I want to keep track of how much I'm bringing in each month and not have it all over the place or just in my spreadsheet that I use as well. So I'm, I'm paid on December the 11th and on Christmas Day. But we might get a little early. You might get paid on a Christmas Eve. I'm not sure how they're going to do it this year. This is my monthly expense tracker. This just tells me what bills I have and how much I'm going to put in them each month it's pretty much standard and the only thing that probably will change on here is a lot of my savings and sinky funds and here is my monthly spread for december so as you can see i get paid on the 11th paid on the 25th and my goal was to spend wisely and to make it work that is for me my one of and that uh, that is a goal so one of my goals would be stretch goals for this month would be to pay $206 on loan number one. You know, it's an odd number because that student loan has $3,205 and I want to get it under $3,000. So that's why I put the 206 there. But I'm not sure because I don't plan on getting any extra money this month. So I'm not sure if that's going to happen or not. But it's a, it's a stretch goal. So I would like for it to happen this month. And the bills that I have is I need to pay, which my mortgage will be on the first. But that's going to be used from November paycheck. And I have a home warranty that's due on the fourth. And that is also paid with November's paycheck. So... The bills that I have to pay in December are my life insurance and my, here will be my Netflix on the 24th and my Hulu on the 24th. And then on Christmas Eve, I have my gas and electric that is due. And on the 28th is will be my student loan payment, but I don't, like I said, I don't think I'm gonna make a payment for this month. My student loans are federal and they are in forbearance, so I don't think I'm gonna make a payment, but it's just, just put it there just in case. And then on the last day of the month, which is New Year's Eve, I have my cell phone bill that is due. And I have my internet which is automatic on my credit card. That's why there. And the money that I make for these two paychecks will go on my January 1st mortgage. So that's my spread for this month. It's pretty simple for December. I didn't have any really due this month. And I, like I said, I made this for myself, so I do have an error there. Um, I have Saturday, but I need to fix that. All right. So this is just my bill tracker. It's I'm going to list out my fixed expenses and the due dates. And when I pay them, check them off. And if I use my debit card or my credit card to pay them, that's how I usually pay my bills. So if it comes out of directly out of my account, 
or if it comes up for a credit card. So let's get into the monthly spread for December. As you know, I do not share my actual income. This is the approximate amount that I would need to make to cover everything. When likely it will be more, but this is what I need for this month. So I listed everything, all of my expenses and my variables and my savings that I wanted to do for this month. So let me complete my totals for you guys. So for my mortgage, um, that is due on January the 1st. Like I said, I am a month ahead with that. Sort of, not not really, but I pay my January. Yeah, I would say a month ahead because I use my December money to pay for it in January. So that is $1,030. And then I have my home warranty, which is $43. And I have my life insurance, $30. My Netflix is $9. And everything in here, I round up. If you're not um, familiar with how I budget, and for Hulu, it's six dollars. My gas and electric, I usually estimate this. This should be invariable, but I put it up here in the fixed expenses because it actually has a due date. So I think I will budget sixty dollars for this month. And like I said, student loans is not getting anything unless I bring in some extra money. And my internet is $145. And my cell phone is $92. All right, so let's add that up to see where we stand with my fixed expenses. So we have $1,415. All right. And this is for my verbal expenses. These are pretty much standard. I don't really change much in this area of my budget like most budgeters do because I actually kind of found a balance on how much I actually need to live off for the, the whole month or every two weeks. So for my groceries for the month of December, it's going to be $150. I, um, my gas is going to be budgeted at $60. Spending is going to be $30. Household is going to be $30. And eating out is going to be $30. So this should add up to $300. So let's see. I'm going to do 90 because it's 30, 60, and 90. Yep, and it's $300. All right. All right, so what I forgot to do was subtract my remaining to see what we have. So we're going to do my income minus my fixed expenses. And that left me with $805. And then we're going to minus. $300 and that leaves me with $505. Now for my sinking funds, I didn't want to do much this month. So I um, have car insurance, which will be $100 and my emergency fund will be $20 and I do have a little bit of ro rollover but I think I have some un other things I need to take care of so I will do that with this money but I'm, I'm, I'm not sure how this budget is going to work this month we will have to see how it how it flows and I sometimes I do a zero base and then sometimes I don't because I like to leave cushions in my account so the remaining from this might be what this is for. I'm not sure. I have not decided yet. But for, as for the remaining balance, it's going to be $100. All 
at 385 left. So like I said, I think I have an inspected bill that this is actually going to go to. So um, I probably will not have much of this left. So that is it. And I'm gonna put in my budget or project it right here. My variable expenses is gonna be 300. Sinky fund is 120. And my income is 200. And $2,220. All right. So that is it for my monthly budget. And when I get paid, I will come back and show you guys um, my paycheck budget as well as the expenses that will go along with my December the 11th paycheck. Um, I am doing a bi weekly check in every month. So with along with my paycheck, the paychecks, I am doing um, paycheck to paycheck and I do bi-weekly check-ins. And if you would like to check any of those videos out, go back and see a couple that I've done. I've done one recently for my November, the second paycheck where I did my expenses from my first paycheck. And in this, like I said, in this plan that I created for myself, I just have two paycheck sheets and expense logs. For my two paychecks and then I have my sinky fund deposit tracker where I set my starting balance and I would put in if I add or subtract anything from either one of my checks and this is just my sinky fund balance sheet to show where I am and this is just my transactions if I need to take anything out of my sinky funds and this is my debt page I'm going to put in my monthly what I'm starting at for the month. I'm going to keep track of this every month. And also my ending balance at the end of each month. And I'm, this is just a list of creditors that I will that I started out with from the beginning. From my credit cards on down that will be on here for month to month. And same thing. It's sinking my track. I will just keep track of my payments for my debt. And I do track my net worth so i will be putting that information in here and i did forget one sheet and i didn't print it out but that it will, it's black and white as well black and gray and it's my monthly summary i like to see what i've accomplished in a month and also what i need to work on for the next month so the sheet will look like this and just to show you guys if you're interested in and a planner, you know, if you're paid bi-weekly, let me know. Because I actually enjoy creating this for myself. And I was like, maybe there are others out there who get paid bi-weekly and would like something specifically just for them. And not to have so many pages. So this one that I created for my, myself for next year. This is just for January. I do have a six-month one. Um, I need to get it binded. I don't have it with me at this time. But um, for the one I'm going to use for next year, I just I wanted to know the reason why, my, my why for 2021 and my goals that I would like to achieve, my yearly goals in total on this page. And this is, I call, this is my colorful one. I actually like this. It's, for, to me, I think it's really pretty. And it's the same as the black and white one. I have my goal sheet. The monthly payday at a glance, your monthly expense tracker, and then I have my calendar spread. And like I said, I'm going to have my bill tracker. And then I have my monthly budget. Then I have my paycheck budget. And then in this one for, ne for next year, I put in three paycheck sheets and paycheck expense logs because I'm not really sure what months I get will get paid three times in for next year. So I just, just put three in all of them. And then my sa savings and my sinking funds. And then the same thing, deposit trackers, sinking funds, transactions, 
my dad and stuff on this one that I had in my black and white one for December. I wanted to know the monthly difference, how much I paid my student loans down within a month. So that 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 would be great. And it's the same with my debtors. Debt payment tracker, my net worth tracker. And here is my monthly summary. Now, for this one, it is a little dark, so I am going to change this. Oh, I did change it. And in the other one that's going to get um behind it for the six months. So this will be a little bit lighter. But it just tells me how much I made, how much I spent on variables, how much I saved, how much I paid off for my debt. And if I had anything remaining or if I was over and under for this month. And the same thing, improvements for next month and my wins for this month. So this is my little planner that I created for myself. If you will be interested in something like this, just let me know and leave a comment below and we can try to set up something for you. And that is it for my December budget. And I thank you for watching and just like and subscribe and leave a comment and I'll see you guys soon.